Hi, this is Sherri Ann Richardson from experimentalhomesteader.com and today I want to talk to you about the camera accessory bundle for the Canon T5i. Um, it easily fits 58 millimeter lenses, um, recommended for the 75 to 300 millimeter lenses, although you can use it on any lens um, as long as it's 58 millimeters. And it comes with the UV, the CPL, and the FLD uh, filter. I do need to tell you before I begin, I did receive this item for free or at a reduced price in exchange for my honest review. All opinions are my own. Okay, so the first thing that this kit came with was this uh, memory card wallet. And I really like this. It has a Velcro opening and lots of slots for memory cards. And you know, if you're out in the field taking a lot of photos, you can never have too many memory cards. It also comes with a three-piece universal screen protector kit. Um, there are three pieces in here and they do fit screens up to five inches. So you just cut them down to put them on your camera screen or whatever other screen you want to use them on. It comes with a three-piece deluxe clean, cleaning kit, a very nice uh, cloth, and the cleaner and then of course you get some q-tips that you'll have to replace once you use them it comes with an extra cleaning cloth okay and it comes with a lens cap holder that i actually have um right here it has an elastic band that just goes around your uh lens and then this is a sticky that just sticks on so you don't just lose your lens. Okay, and the three filters it comes with is the UV filter, which is just a standard UV filter. And what a UV filter does is it cuts through the effects of atmospheric, haze, moisture, and other forms of airborne pollutants. And this is very important because sometimes you take a picture and you notice that it's kind of hazy. Maybe it's not real clear. You know, there's something wrong with it. That's what you use your UV filter for. And like I said, it easily goes on um, any 58 millimeter lens. You just screw it on. Um, there we go. That's what it looks like. So very nice, um, very easy to use and a filter that you definitely want to keep with you at all times. Okay, the next filter is the CPL. This is the circular polarizer or a linear filter. And what this does, this is the filter that makes your clouds really pop. It saturates your colors. Um, so when you have a really, really blue sky or something like that, that is this filter. It also eliminates reflections on water glass and other polished surfaces. So again, a filter that you really, really want to keep in your go bag. Uh, so when you go out and shoot photos, you have this if you need it. And the last filter is one that some people say you should use with the digital camera and other people say you should not. It is the FLD filter. This is the fluorescent light filter. It basically corrects white balance, which you can do on your own in your camera uh, but this is for when you're shooting under fluorescent lighting okay I'm sure you've noticed uh, what I wanted this for is a lot of times I shoot under fluorescent lighting and I get this horrible green cast in my photos and yes I could go in and correct my white balance um, I could even correct it afterwards in Photoshop but sometimes it is just easier to put a filter on and go with that um, now, I know a lot of people say, well, the fluorescent light filters don't work as well on the, the digital cameras. This one works fine. And the reason is these filters actually have a digital anti-reflection multi-coating. I had to go get the exact wording of that. Um, but anyway, they have a coating on them that is specially formulated so that they will work better with digital cameras than what the filters for your film cameras do. And I'm gonna actually read this to you because it's gonna be better if I do that than if I try to remember it. Okay, it says, 
These filters are formulated to pass light reflected off of a digital camera's anti Oh boy. Okay, I think this word is a lysing filter. Um, it's kind of hard to read because of the really tiny print. And silicone-based CCD or CMOS sensor. So when I said that these were specially formulated for digital cameras, this is what I was talking about. And I wanted to read that exact wording to you so that I got the information across correctly and wasn't trying to paraphrase their exact wording. These filters work really great, and I'm going to tell you, they will not only work on the Canon T5i, I have the Canon T3i, they work fine on my camera, but I have also tried them on my 58mm filters that I have for my iPhone. And um, I have the iographer, and I have filters that fit on the back of it, or lenses, I'm sorry. And I also have some clip-on lenses for my iPhone that are actually the 58 millimeter. So I have tried that and it works fine. So these are not just for the Canon T5i. Um, I think this is a very, very nice kit. It is great for beginners. If you're looking for that one kit that you need to have when you get your digital camera, this is the kit to get. Um, I'm very happy with the filters. They are made of quality glass, as near as I can tell. And this is metal. This is not plastic, um, as near as I can tell, um, just from feeling it. So very high quality, and I expect them to last for quite some time. And another thing that I like about the filters is they do come with a lifetime warranty, which is really important because if you're going to invest in equipment for your camera, you really want some high quality equipment that is going to last. So uh, I'm going to get a lot of use out of these. I already have, but I, this is a kit. Um, these filters come in this very nice little case like this. And I do like to keep mine in the box um, just so that it's easy to grab out of my camera bag. But this is a kit that is going to end up in my uh, to-go camera bag that I take with me every time I go out and shoot. So uh, thanks for watching and have a great night.